Hello. Hello. Hello, good evening, and how are you today? I can you lower your voice? Okay. So, are you happy today? Yes. Okay, so what did you do all day? What did you do? Do you have a class? So you attend a birthday party. So you are very happy because you attend a birthday party. Okay. So are you ready today to learn new um, lesson today? Another speaking that we had. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. That was great. So now let's start. Okay. So let's have student examiner interaction part one. Okay, we have a popular topic and we have family, best friend, hometown, your house, sport, computer collecting and music okay okay for example we have a getter lesson okay okay just look at the card Okay, have you read already the card? Welcome to Tantado Oh no, you cannot see the slide. You cannot see all no. slide. We are already in part two. Can you see it or not? Oh, what happened to this? Okay, just sorry. Have you seen already Gator lessons? Gator lessons, have you already seen? Can you see the Gator lessons? And can you see it or not? Just sweet. What happened to this? Can you see the slide? Look at. Can you see the getter lesson? No. I see. Okay, get our lesson. Can you see it? No? Yes. Okay, so let's start. Yeah. Okay, can you see part two, student, student interaction? Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Okay, can you read the get our lesson or that is a card? Can you read that? Mm -hmm. Art and outdoor classes based on the field part. 
for exam, you can let it flow in your room. Seven days a week, morning, afternoon, or evening. Mm. All kinds of music. Ninety dollars for ten lessons. Children from eight years old. Okay, so answer in full sentences, okay? So how many cost per lesson? How many cost per lesson? Can you answer in the sentence? $90. Okay. So is that a pop music? Mm, yes. Okay. Okay, what is the lesson for children? Yes, children from eight years old. Okay, so where that happened? Where is the gather lesson happened? No, in the room. Yes, very good. So, do so you have a lesson Saturday afternoon? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, that is... Okay, let's start with speaking part one. What is your favorite subject? Mm, my favorite subject is English, ah, English, chemistry, and math. Okay, why did you like it? Because mm, it's very interesting. Yes. So, what classes do you like? Don't you like it? What classes don't you like it? I don't like historical class and physics class. Okay. So, what subjects were you good at? I did of English, chemistry, and math. Okay. So, what subjects were difficult for you? What is that? Okay. So there are school subjects, right? Art, geography, English, mathematics, literacy, music, science, arithmetic, chemistry, biology, physics, swimming, physical education, information technology citizenship and drama okay so can you choose your favorite subject in the picture english chemistry okay in english why that you like it. Yes. So in English subject, 
we can learn also many things and why because english is that is a national language so if you know also on how to use english language or something that you know already all the um, information about english okay so if you go to other country you can easily understand what they are saying right you can easily communicate with other people in other country right so english is a very important subject and also it can help us to improve ourselves or to achieve what we want to achieve okay because as we all know if you are going to another place to have a better future right so before you go that um let me make sure that you know on how to speak english also on how to communicate other people and how to handle english also okay so mathematics a subject of mathematics is um full of numbers right there is a numbers numbers solving problems needing a solution right so in that subject and that is our daily use why because we will always use that whenever we buy something that is math right we use a coin that is math right so that is english mathematics is the best subject that we have in chemistry okay that is your favorite right and chemistry also that is more what is that mm, enjoyable why because we you can experience everything or you can something that um you were what is that and you will find as a solution that you can experience on how to have uh mm, what is that an experiment right okay so how about music is that your favorite subject No. You like to listen music, right? I don't like music. But you don't like a music subject. Okay, how about information technology? That is, we use technology. Do you like that subject? A little. Okay, a little. Why? Why there is only a little? Now, uh, this, we will always use a technology, right? We have a new advanced technology every year. Okay. Also, information technology subject is a very important. Why? And because nowadays, we will use technology, right? So, you must better to know English that is number one important mathematics okay information technology that is we always use technology on how to know or and how to monitor and how to um, assess in technology okay how about physical education physical education is for help right for exercises yes um okay let's start with art so art that is drawing painting making some um what is that there are many kind of art right do you like it art subject okay a little only how about geography that is a history right a history of the 
<laughs> Do you like it? Geography? Evening later. <laughs> You're very tired to listen in that subject. Yes. That is a very boring subject. Okay. Literacy. Literacy that is a literature. That is also um history and the fast past, right? Okay. Science. Science also that is also like a uh, chemistry, biology. Okay. Physics is the highest, right? So swimming, how about swimming? Do you know how to swim? Yeah, yes. So also we have a subject about citizenship. We have a subject on citizenship because um, to know on how to respect each other, right? On what is the rule and responsibility of each citizenship in every country. Okay, drama. Mm, the drama that is like you act something, right? Okay. So, can you name the some compulsory subject in your school or a subject that that is that is always needed in the school? What are those subjects? What is your subject now in the school? Okay, to be good at badat. I am good at math. Namzom is good at producing music. So, this is it. I'm good at math. Namzom is good at producing music. So, what is yours good at? What subject is that? Science. Uh, no, chemistry. You are good at chemistry or only English? English and math. Yes, so chemistry, English, and math. Oh no, what happened? Okay, let's talk about your favorite subject. Please read that example first. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, continue. Don't be shy. I will listen to you, okay? Okay, so I will read, for example, my favorite subject is English. I feel that this is one subject that I can learn effortlessly. In fact, to me, to me, studying English does not feel like studying at all. It seems like pursuing a hobby. I also love geography and computer science and look forward to studying them. However, English has always been on the top of my list. I can study the English chapters anytime and anywhere. Okay. How about you? Okay, <laughs> don't force yourself, okay? Okay, example. My favorite subject is science. I feel that this is one of my best favorite subjects because um, I can learn many things on this subject. Science is that not that is not a difficult subject. It is more interesting, and that is also we experience to experiment something. Okay. Science can help us also in our daily livings, right? Uh, Science is my favorite subject because I want to learn something and I want also to experiment the things that I never tried to, ex to experiment before. Okay. I can study the science chapters anytime and anywhere. Okay, that's it. So, how about you, math, right? So, you will say, my favorite subject is math. I felt that that is my best subject because um, I can learn, I can learn many numbers, okay, in the subject. And also, I can find a solution in each problem. Um, I know on how to handle every time when we encountered some numbers, okay? I love math, thematics, because it can help me on how to enhance my comprehension, comprehension skills in problem song problem solving okay so we have part two okay can you read the cards we work music shop by the lady dance music here monday to saturday 9 a.m to 8 p.m book and movie um, 58 Walton Street. 58, 58 Walton Street. Okay. So, there is a new world music shop. Also, this. Okay. So, the 
by Aceres. Okay, what is the name of the shop? What is the name of the shop? And? Okay. How much is the price? The see this. Okay. Where is the address? Okay. So, what time or month? Um, day is open. What time mm. of day is open? It's open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. So what did they buy? Um, they buy book and movie. Yes, by book and magazine. Okay, next. So we already done and this. Okay, what have you learned in this lesson today? Today I learned chapter. Okay. You learned today your favorite subject. And what is the use of the subject and why you like that subject, okay? Next, let's proceed another subject. Oh, no, another lesson. Oh, what happened to this? Just wait for a minute. Okay. Oh, no, what is that? So, this is part one. Where do you usually buy your clothes? Uh, my clothes in a shop near my house. Okay, what kind of clothes are in fashion now? <laughs> okay, how much money do you spend on clothes? It's about one hundred thousand dollars. It's about Okay, how much time do you spend getting ready to go to school? Wearing uniform and 
Okay, so what is your favorite dress? I don't know because I, I don't have any dress. Okay. So which kind of clothes you don't like to wear? Mm. Mm. I don't like to wear clothes in, in so long, long to me. Why? Why you don't like it? Okay, so just look at this. Women's clothing and men's clothing. Oh no, where is your favorite clothes for that? What did you wear? I wear t-shirt with on. Okay, so that is we have wedding dress, sweater, t shirt, um, sketch dress, tank top, shorts. Uniform, long sleeve top, skirt, swimsuit, jeans, long coat, and dress. And also we have men's clothing, right? So in men's clothing, what is that? We have sweater, shirt, jeans. Gloves, cup, suit, Hawaiian shirt, singlet, flip-flop, short cardigan, bow tie, slip shirt, right? Vest, and that is jumper. Okay. Please read the useful vocabulary. Can you read it? Dress up. All clothes to dress one shell or another in door. To wear dress to put clothes on yourself or someone else. Throw on. To put on an item of clothing quickly and get out of Hang out. To dry clothes outside after washing, washing, sleep on, to put on an item of clothing in you, pick up, to remove your shoe quickly. Okay, so dress up to dress one soap or another in your best clothes, right? To get dressed, to put clothes on yourself or someone else. Throw on to put on an item of clothing quickly and without thought. Hang out so that is to put, uh, man, sorry, to dry clothes outside after washing that is hang out. Slip on to put an item of clothing easily. Kick off to remove your shoes quickly. Okay, and or out of fashion. So look at that is a fashion, right? Can you see it? Okay. So what kind of clothes do the bride and groom wear in the country? In your country? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what kind of clothes do the bride and the groom wear in your country? Red, very long, and it might be red, white, or yellow. The color is based on based on the Okay, so in this picture, is that the Vietnam country who wear that bright dress? How about the white? Okay, just look at. So in our bride and groom also we wear this, this white and then the bo the women and the girl and this is it also we wear that in our country that is the common. Okay. Okay. Do you think students need to wear school uniforms? Why? No. Why? Why student need to wear school uniform? Okay, so students need to wear school uniform because that is a policy in the school. Wear your uniform if you want to enter the school, right? That is first, that is a policy. Second, you need to wear a uniform so that you will be an uh, you will be or um, recognized that you are a student in that school also, right? That is second. Number three, you need to wear a school uniform to respect your school and your teachers also. That is third. Fourth. You need to wear a uniform because that is your responsibility or that is your rule to be a student in the school that you will become a student if you first wear your uniform. Okay, five. We need most to wear a school uniform so that you will be neat and clean to see as a student okay and also some people will respect you and obey you also even though you are only a student because why you wear wear a school uniform so if you wear a school uniform and it means that some people also can recognize you that you are a student okay so are you wearing um uniform in your school yeah. yes so you are always wearing a uniform because sometimes there are also other school that the student cannot enter the school if they were not wearing a complete uniform right and also just put in your mind that being a student you need to 
wear a uniform. Okay, so that is, let's talk about favorite dress. So this example, can you read the sentence? Can you read the sentence or the paragraph? I Okay, I love to wear jeans, pants. Those are casual attires for me and I love to wear those during my office hours. I frequently wear jeans, pants for some reason. I can do whatever I want by wearing it. The most important thing about the jean is that it fits me very well. I also feel comfortable. Movement becomes easier and then are available across Vietnam. So... Um, there are different kind of people, right? So, there are also different kind of their favorite dress. There are some that they are always like to wear a jeans. Others are always use a casual, right? As long as they are very comfortable with that dress. So, they wear that dress. Okay. Okay, so what have you learned today? There are young and slow. Yes, today you learn about the favorite dress, okay, right? And also we learn again the cards and how to answer the proper grammar also, okay. So I hope you learn a lot today and, and I hope you will also enjoy. Don't forget what you have learned today, okay? Just always put in your mind that every day you will learn a new words, right? Okay, just always remember you will read books as always so that you can encounter the difficult words, right? That you didn't encounter before. Okay? Okay, do you have any problem and... No, so no questions. Did you understand clearly? Okay, so thank you so much for your time today and good night and see you next time. Bye-bye. Good night. Okay, don't be stressed. Okay, sleep tight. Okay, citrines.